Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Grandad's Farm here on Elm Creek. I uh, just woke up. Another beautiful sunny day, looks like today. No rain around. I've no idea what we're going to do today, to be honest. Um, we have a lot of stuff that's already completed. The only thing we can really do is more contract work. Um, the strawberries and strawberries growing. We've got a little bit of that that we could probably go and sell, but I think we should be waiting... For the price to go back up. So February's the time. Really? February's the time. May. So we're middle of middle of the year. We're really not gonna get too much out of these guys. Um I think we may need to get a trailer and start to load these guys up and and once these get to ten thousand liters and just start storing them maybe. Um, our chickens Slowly making some eggs, 211 eggs. Come on, chickies. So, we get the total of 30 in here. How many do we get for... This one? Th oh, 360. Oh. Definitely going to be... A huge amount of eggs out of that. It's a huge space, but it just they take forever to make eggs, to be honest. Um, all of our fields are ready to go. Um, we have some stones that we could possibly pick up, but, yeah, I'm not too concerned about that yet. It's just more money that we don't really want to go throwing out anywhere, so, I really don't know uh, what the plan's going to be with us at the moment, guys, whether we, um, I just continue to do some contract work off camera and some nice energy drink. Where's he spiz? Um, continue to do some of that stuff off camera or not? Uh, I don't know. Having some trouble with this um, player action camera too, as you can see. There we go. Um, yeah, so let's quickly jump in our grandma's tractor. We'll bring up our phone and look at some contracts. Now, there's some decent contracts around, and I've actually... Um, Oh, field 25, that's a good one. Let's take that one, if that one doesn't disappear, good. I've actually spoken to the guys at the shop, and they've said there's a couple of younger guys around, um, you know, 16, 17, 18, who decided that school's not for them, and they're looking for a bit of work, so if we can get another tractor, we can potentially get someone out helping us um, maybe even if we take on some of this contract work um, and use their equipment get a few guys out helping us a couple of young guys which wouldn't be a bad thing and that's a way for us to make money and a way for them to make money too so I think that wouldn't be too bad an idea so we're going to head down to the shop, grab some um, fertiliser, and I'll bring you guys back once we're all loaded up and ready to go. Alrighty guys, we're back, loaded up. Um, I came down to grab some uh, fertiliser. And one of those young guys was actually down here, just having a bit of a chat with the guys at the store, and um, I thought I'd put him aside and say, hey, look, I'm more than happy to, to help you out and give you a bit of money, but I don't have my own equipment, but we can get some contracts, use other people's gear, and, and you can go out and do the job and, and get the money for it, so he's more than happy to do that. <coughs> Pardon me. He's more than happy to do that. He's um, on his way down. He's down at field 50 um, at the moment. He should be down there and starting on that field pretty soon. I did just send him straight off from the shop, let him know what field, and um, we'll go down and take care of that. Looking at our little mini map on our GPS, looks like he's moving, so... He's down there doing his thing. Um, as you can see, we're, we're losing a little bit of money up the top right-hand corner, so we're not going to make a massive amount of cash out of using someone else to do the contracts but it's still going to be income for us 
it's going to be income for him as well. So, you know, he just, we just paid him 42 bucks for his last hour. He wasn't even wasn't even here that long. So, we'll let him go and do his thing and see how he goes. If he's um, reliable enough, turns up when he needs to. We'll, we'll keep him on and we'll, we'll keep giving him some extra work. So he's he's only young, 17. Uh, his name's Mark. Kind of asked him what happened at school and he, he wouldn't go into too much detail, but he just said that school's not for him, which is fair enough. You know, I didn't... I didn't really like school either, but... But he, yeah, he obviously had some, some dramas there, so we won't try and get into too much detail with him if he's... If he doesn't want to share and open up, then you know, that's all good. That's fine. Alright, so let's get started on this field here. Decent amount of money for us just from this field. So if we can get a heap of um, fertilising contracts and stuff, that'll definitely allow us to keep Mark on for a little, that little bit longer, you know, he's, he definitely seems keen. He said that, you know, he's, his dream job is to obviously run his own farm. He lives in the local area and he does help his dad out on his dad's farm too, but obviously his dad, dad's not paying him. Dad's not very impressed that he, that he left school early, so I've been told he needs to help out on the farm and work on the farm and he's not getting paid for it. But, um, yeah, I haven't spoken to his dad yet, so I'm hoping his dad's going to be okay with it. I assume if he's not okay with it, he'll let me know. But I think having his son out there, you know, working, earning money, as well as being at home and helping him, hopefully Mark can prove to his dad that leaving school was the right decision for him. It's not right for everybody, but maybe for him. I've got a bit of a, a, bit of a cold today, I think. not that cold at the moment um, it's not in summer yet but it's um yeah let's bring up the, the temperature uh, 21 degrees so yeah it's definitely definitely not cold 21 degrees Celsius that is just I guess your average average day as far as temperature goes I mean I, I did have the fan on last night so it's probably or the fact that I slept with, you know, blanket on and the fan blowing in my face. Alright, so we should get, we should smash this contract out really early. Um, then work out what we're going to do. We need to have a look at the shop again. I didn't actually talk to the guys about used equipment when I was down there, so... We'll have to jump on the phone and... Look at their app and see what, what's out there. I think that, that harvester would be would be ideal. Uh, the one that we had for 50% off, but we just don't have that cash at the moment. We need to try and save that for when harvest season arrives, if we can. Save us having to, to lease a harvester. Uh, that's the last thing we want to be doing. pretty much just, just throwing money down the drain if we have to, you know, lease anything. Alright, let's quickly grab the app out and we'll have a look. Uh, that's the stump grinder, isn't it? Yeah, trailer. The manure spreader, actually. That's not too bad. We don't need that right now. We don't have anything to use the manure spreader for. So the price of soybeans is still still really good. I know we're going to make an absolute killing out of that. Our fields aren't massive, but soybeans are going to bring in some good money for us. We just need to make sure um, we're planting at the right time, obviously. Soybeans we planted yesterday. They should be good to go by October, November.
currently on two day seasons I am dropping it back to one day seasons because we're just running out of things to do really um, yeah I don't want to be doing a whole heap of contract work I know you guys sort of get a little bit bored of that so Try and avoid doing too much of it. Let's see if we can't dart across this highway here. This is probably not a good idea. Make sure there's no police around. That's the main thing. We need to spread lime on our fields at home as well. But obviously we've... Because we've already seeded, we can't spread lime. And I'm pretty sure with this guy, we can't spread lime either. So... We're going to have to try and get... Um, a lime spreading trailer. 180 bucks an hour he's making, so he's making a decent amount of money. See, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have to get a bigger trailer, a lime spreader, or if we can hire one. I really don't know. Um, I'm still just thinking about these strawberries and tomatoes and stuff like that. I'd like to load them up and store them somewhere but we haven't got a trailer. That's the main thing. Not having a trailer, not having anywhere to store them. They're out in the open at the moment. So we're lucky it hasn't rained or anything. Alright, dump that off. Quick look at the contracts again. Uh, got some sewing we could do. A lot more cultivating work. Some bailing and stuff, which isn't too bad. 0 0.22 hectares. It's more than the time it takes to get um, to and from the shop. Now let's have a look. What What's uh, the number of the fields near the shop? Yeah, so field 34... I don't think anything. So let's go grass. Growth, ready to harvest. I think they're all these ones up here, aren't they? Yeah. What is that down there? That's grass. That's a huge grass field. Field 71. Wouldn't it be good to be able to purchase that? Get that turned into some silage bales and stuff. That would be... Uh, that would be great. Alright, top these guys up. Let's go for a bit of a spin down and we'll see how Mark's doing. Yeah, he's doing alright, he's getting through it. I don't wanna don't want him to feel like um we're watching every movie he makes. But no, he, he's getting through it. Certainly. It's probably like, oh god, he's down here already. Let's give him a bit of a toot. And a lave. Doing a good job, mate. Right, once he's done, he can drop the tractor and stuff back off at the shop and get our check and make sure we've paid him as much as we needed to. Alright, so these chickens are doing well. Yeah, these greenhouses. I still don't know what to do with these things. Let's park this thing up. We might have a look at... Um, might have a look at the contracts again. There's really not much we can do at the moment. It's... Um, build 52. No, that's right there. Okay. Not much money though, is it? It's 236 bucks. We're gonna make like four or five hundred bucks. Um, it all goes on the hectare size. Build 80. Yeah, see, it's. I don't know. Honestly, like our. 
don't know where, I think we took it back, didn't we, the combi player? I don't know if we could even use that, to be honest. But there's nothing there that's really going to make us any decent money. Uh, sowing, 1.2 hectares. Spraying. I don't know if I've got any herbicide left. I think I've used all of it. So, for that, we're only going to make... Uh, maybe three and a half grand. Actually, less than about three grand plus we've got to pay for spraying, like, um, herbicide. So it's really, really not worth it, to be honest. But, um, right there, guys. I'll let, um, uh, Mark do his thing down there. And, um, I'll just have a bit of a break and bring you guys back when we've got something else to do today. Right there, guys. We're back. So, I went and had a bit of an early lunch. Um, Mark got that uh, job completed, and um, I've invited him over for lunch actually, he came over and had a bit of a bite to eat with us, just having a bit of a chat about, you know, life and where he wants to go and all that sort of stuff, um, and looks like he's in a, needs a bit of help over here, he does, okay, um, yeah, so we had a bit of a, a good chat with him and just checking in to see how things are and just general life stuff, you know, where he grew up and where he gets along with his mum and dad and brothers and sisters and all that sort of stuff, so had a good old chat and um, he was just about to head home and we got another phone call from the guys down at the shop, because these guys at the shop, apparently they're the ones that sort of run all the contracts and stuff, so so there's a couple of cultivating jobs that have just come up that are reasonably urgent. Um, wasn't quite sure why they marked them as urgent. I was looking at, um... No, actually, there, yeah, there's... Good, a couple of things can still get planted today, so... I guess... I guess they're urgent because they want some stuff planted. If we can come in and cultivate, then they can maybe come in and plant this afternoon. Um, they're kind of running out of time. They said they needed it done... Done today. Um, and as soon as possible, so... I got Mark... Asked Mark if he was okay to come and help. He said he was, so got him back down here helping again. Yep, there he is. Off he goes. He'll do his thing. Hopefully, they don't allow him to get through that. Okay. Let's get back over to our tractor and um, get finished up on this field over here. So field 52 and 56, I think we're on. He's over on field 56, so. I've kind of spoke to the shop as well and told them that we're just not making enough money from the jobs that we're getting um, and I told them we're going to increase our prices a little bit so for any work um, any field work such as cultivating plowing seeding um, you know any of that sort of general stuff we're going to be just going to start charging uh, two thousand dollars a hectare I think where are we looking at yeah, two thousand dollars a hectare. So these ones we're getting a little bit, a little bit more actually for this one. It's an urgent one, so it's going to give us a little bit more. So yeah, two thousand per hectare is what we're sort of going for as our price for any field work. And then as far as the fertilisation and stuff, um, we're happy with what we're receiving for fertilisation at the moment. Just the field work, it's you know, it's, it's hard work. And we're trying to, to build our our farm up from the ground up, so get that extra money. Now, sales. Oh, a little front loader here. A little Schaefer, 2630. Um, don't really need that at the moment. That's a good buy, though. I don't know how much it'll be able to lift. I mean, it's um, not a very big machine, so it may not be able to lift a great deal. But it may come in handy later on, but obviously at the moment with us having less than 100 grand, yeah, no, no go. So I think I want to try and keep 100 grand in the bank at all times, if we can, once we sort of get the farm up and running. Um, that would be sort of a goal. That way, if anything does pop up for sale on the sale page that we need, we've, we've got the money there to buy it. Right, there we go. 
We're slowly getting through this field. It's going to take us a little while. I know Mark's going to be over there a lot longer than us. Um, obviously, if we had got Mark doing this field, we wouldn't have paid him as much. Um, but now I, I just said to him, you know, you, you take the bigger field if you want. That way, you know, he's making a little bit more money. I'm happy just to get this done, take the tractor back, and then maybe if we get time, we've got another contract today, but I mean, I doubt it. We're not getting a massive amount of fertilising jobs coming through at this stage, so they're sort of the ones I've been targeting most because it's just a way for us to make some, some quick money. Whereas these jobs, these jobs just take a lot longer. Right, so this this must be like a, a deep cultivator because it's not um, leaving behind, you know, the stubs, the stubble of the the withered crop or, or the weeds and that sort of stuff. So it must be cultivating it deep back below the dirt, turning the dirt right over on top of it. So one thing we could probably look at is making sure we have a cultivator that does that so we don't have to worry about mulching and um, all that sort of stuff. Have Having a look at the ER, so if we go soybeans for harvest in November, we've got December, January, February and March to get the field prep work done again, ready to plant. So that'll mean we have time to do, use the rollers, use the mulches to get rid of the stubble and stuff if we need to. Uh, plow again and stuff if we need to, before we get to that seeding stage. Depending on winter, how cold it gets. Um, I know we, we can do some field work during winter, but if it gets too cold, um, and too much snow and freezes the ground, we can't do anything, so... We just hope that we get a decent winter that isn't too cold. Really a fan of this tractor though. This is a uh, very nice tractor. Dude's far. 7250. It's, um, yeah, beautiful. Nice and comfy. Sounds good, drives good. Put all, all the mod cons. Sunroof, yeah, get that thing open. our computer screens and stuff here telling you temperature of the engine and that sort of stuff so that, that's pretty good I know we're missing little bits and pieces but as he said it this is a urgent job so do our best but if I miss little bits and pieces I don't think you'll be overly concerned Big strips like that, though, yes, you'll be overly concerned, I think. Probably, maybe halfway through the field. I would think. I mean, us using other people's equipment like this, it does cost us a little bit of money, but it is really good to be able to try out tractors, you know, find out what we do and don't like. So that way, when, you know, our farm is really up and running, come through and say, you know, I, I did drive that, didn't like it, did like it, you know, that sort of thing. Let's bring up our map and see how Mark's doing. Yeah, he's still moving, so a little GPS screen down the bottom there, he's still doing his thing. Alright, so I know there's a lot of uh, production facilities around here that are for sale too. Um... There's a bakery in town here which is available for sale, but we need to turn uh, some of our grain into flour and stuff before we can really look at, at that too much. Um, we need eggs and milk and butter and uh, strawberries and everything, the cakes and bread. So I mean that's uh, long term goals, definitely long term. Getting some production stuff up and running is going to be going to be good. Good way to earn money too. I know um, even cotton 
is um, a pretty good price. Get some get some cotton going and get it up to the spinnery. We can we can purchase a spinnery and then the tailor shop. You know, we can hire people to turn the wool into or well, the cotton into wool and then turn that into clothing and, and sell clothing and stuff, so it's um it's endless possibilities really for us and income. It's just gonna be several years before we get to that stage. Still in year one, so we're still very, very early days. I don't know if the, actually the guy that owns this field might look, may live here, that might be him there actually come out and have a bit of a look, see how we're going. Bit of a toot, let him know we're going alright. Yeah, I don't know. May not be him, but anyway, we've tooted. Gave me a bit of a salute, a bit of a wave. Oh, this is one of those awkward fields. I don't know if I should have went up and down or crossways like we are now, who knows. But we're getting through it. That might not be might not have been him, might be one of his friends, I think. He might be walking home. That's not very efficient doing it this way. Track field 52 is finished, so we are done, but obviously we can't leave it like this, guys. I don't want to be known as a good a dude that does three quarters of a job. Oh, there's another guy coming through. I hope he's not a truck dealer. I don't even know if this is his house, but there's a lot of people coming and going. Could be, could be a truck dealer, who knows. Let's hope not though, especially if they look over and see us here. I don't want them assuming that we're going to go dump them in anyway. Right across from a fire station too. Guess there's no police in there so they should be okay. Alright, there we go. Job done. Let's get this thing back to the shop. Put our hazards on. We'll merge on over. So the bakery, the bakery's just here. I think it was 50, 50, 60,000, 50,000 to buy that. Jeez, honestly, that's not too expensive for a bakery. It would be a lot, a lot dearer than that, but it's not. All right, we'll drop this off just here so the guys can get this back inside. I don't know. Turn those beacons off too, just in case. I don't know if they, the people that get the contracts to us hire this from the shop and allow us to use it, or if it's their machinery, I don't know, I don't know, but this is where we pick it up and drop it off every time, so maybe the, the shops, you know, contract machinery or something. Anyway, let's clear that job. Extra 22. We're nearly at 30,000 at the moment. Oh, we're doing okay with money. So we've got some seed here we need to use at some stage. Let's quickly get across the road here. Check on Mark. You can see that this obviously isn't one of those deep cultivators. You can still see the, the stubble in the ground. That Mark's doing his thing. It's getting through it. Alright, well I guess I'll head back home and wait for our next call or we'll um, just have a bit of a rest this afternoon I suppose so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you did as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of the series so far if you've got any ideas and suggestions if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so thanks for watching see you again soon don't look at the drug dealer's house